So we've talked a little bit already about uh, how to create a blog that you're going to be using for my class and for Press's class for the next two years. What we're going to talk about today is how to actually go about creating uh, your first post on that blog. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into Gmail and uh, because I'm so wonderful I've already done that. Check it out. Look, there it is. Gmail. So uh, you're going to go up here to the more button on the very top and uh, click the drop down and you want to go to blogger so here we go here's blogger and uh, you have already created your blog with my blog right there LS's thoughts is already up there um, in order to write a new post what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click this pencil button right here oh look it says create new post awesome so you're gonna click that and you will get a page that looks like this okay so uh, what I've done is I've already copied and pasted the questions into the, uh, a new post here um, that I want you to, to deal with. So on the first day of school, um, you guys answered five questions for me on uh, that little blank white half sheet that you got back from me today in history class. What I'd like you to do is these three questions that I've highlighted at the very top of your, um, or excuse me, these three questions that I've highlighted at the very top of this blog post, um, I would like you to just copy down exactly what you wrote on the first day of school below them. Don't change anything word for word what you wrote. Okay, maybe if you spelled something wrong, you should fix that. But copy down exactly what you wrote on the first day of school here. Then I would like you to move below that and just write in what I've written here. After more than five weeks of history, this is what I think. And I'd like you to re-answer these three questions from the top. But talk about how you see history, what it is, what your experience in history class has been for the first five weeks, and what a history class looks like based on your first five weeks in my class. Some of those answers may stay the same from what you wrote before, some of them might be very different. Um, I'm not too concerned with whether things change or not, I'd just like you to get those thoughts out there. Um, there will be some length requirements for how much you have to write here. Uh, I'm not going to talk about those here, that'll be up on School Loop. But uh, yeah, that, that's what you're going to write about. Once you get all that stuff written in here, and again, this will probably be full of all sorts of brilliant thoughts on your part, uh, you might get to the point where you want to uh, maybe make this a little bit more interesting and maybe put in a picture or something like that. Um, now you know, because we've talked about this, that you will be finding your pictures through Creative Commons. Uh, and I've already done that. I located a, um, a, memorial, a memorial in Lexington, Massachusetts of the Battle of Lexington. Check it out. That guy looks very awesome and looks like he should be in my blog post because we've talked a couple times about uh, that we talked for a couple days in the first five weeks about the Battle of Lexington so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the image location and so now, now that I've copied that URL I'm going to insert the image which is this little insert image button right here I'm going to do it from a URL I'll paste the web page in right here and add selected All right, there he is. He looks spectacular. I think you'll like him right there. Uh, again, you can change the size if you'd like. You put in the left, the center, the right. I am going to add a caption because guess what? We need to make sure we're giving attribution. So my caption is going to be the title of my image, which is Minuteman Statue. So in quotes, we'll say Minuteman Statue from, what's my website? Right up here, freephoto.com by, who took this picture? This is by, doo -doo -doo, right here, Ian Britton. By Ian. Ah, oh, magic. Now my blog looks, my blog post looks so much cooler because I've got a picture. So, once you have done this and you've copied down what you wrote on the first day of school, and you have put in a beautiful picture, and then you talked about how your views had changed or not changed. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and you are going to click this magical button right here, publish. Now, can we publish it without a title? No, we definitely need a title. The title is going to be what is history. All right, so now that we have a title, uh, if you want to deal with like labels and stuff like that, that's fine. We're not going to deal with that yet. Um, but we've got a title, we've got our, our words, we've got a picture, we're ready to go. So I'm going to click publish. And 
So now that this is published, let's go to, we'll click on my blogs, and uh, I want to view the blog, so let's click here, and magically, slowly, we've got, slowly, 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 it's coming, the wheels are turning, oh, awesome, so, the Google form that you're gonna to have to do to finish this assignment I don't want you to give me just your blog website I want you to give me the website of the specific post here so make sure you click on the actual post then you can copy this website and paste it into the blog or excuse me and paste it into the Google form alright guys thanks